Hi, this is Sasha Segan, lead analyst for PCMag.com, here with a review of the OnePlus X smartphone. The OnePlus X looks really good and it has a great price at $249, but there are a couple of red flags which mean that US shoppers should stop and think before trying to hunt this one down. The OnePlus X is gorgeous. It's two slabs of glass held in place by a metal frame weighing only 4.86 ounces and only 2.72 inches wide. It's a great one-handed device. On the front of the phone, there's a rich 5-inch 1080p screen. Take a look at this alert slider, which is an unusual OnePlus feature. It's a quick way to mute alerts. There's a 13-megapixel main camera and an 8-megapixel front camera, both of which are solid. The phone runs Android 5.1.1 with a relatively low-key skin on top. So what's the catch? Well, first of all, it's hard to get. OnePlus is still running an invite-only purchase system, which can make this hard to buy. But more importantly, it's missing AT&T's LTE Band 17 and T-Mobile's LTE Band 12. That means it has lousy AT&T LTE reception inside buildings and not so great T-Mobile LTE reception in suburbs and exurbs. That's a big problem. Listen, this is a good phone if you can get it, and especially if you're outside the US. That's why we rated it three and a half stars. But the lack of US LTE bands is a real bummer here, and that's why you need to think twice about the OnePlus X. For more on this phone and thousands of other reviews, see PCMag.com. Mm -hmm.